to a similar number when you do that, I, I realize. So I'm just typing them in now. All right, so if I play this, I'm going to actually unmute the audio for this again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that looks really good. I love the way that looks. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, it looks it looks very good, but we have some, other, some more st stuff to do. I can go ahead and select the camera. Select, uh, hit I to insert a location keyframe. We'll do the same thing with the camera itself. So we'll give a little bit of mo motion to it. Uh, add some noise. Actually, we can just paste it, sorry. Uh, and then make sure that's on. Uh, change the offset to a random value again. And we this is gonna be too much for the camera's uh, motion, I think. Let me mute that. Uh, 50 might be good. No, that might be fine. It's fine the way it is, actually. Um, and by the way, I don't think I mentioned it, but the resolution needs to be changed. I don't know why I was on that weird value, but uh, instead of 1920-1080, I want to do a 2560-1080, uh, which is a 2K resolution. Uh, that looks much better. It has a more cinematic feel to it, so when we render it, it'll look uh, it'll look uh, like it has uh, letterbox on it. All right, so now with this all done, we still need a bit more animation and letters because they still kind of just sit there even though, I mean, they're still rotating and moving and stuff. Um, I want to change the scale of the camera to 100 and the strength to 0.5 because it's too much. Yeah, that's better, I think. That's much better. All right, I just it was just too much movement at the same time. Uh, much better. Okay, so what we're going to do now is that's just on the X. So let's go ahead and, and do the, the Y and Z for the camera as well. So copy that and then paste it on the Y, change that value something random and in the z as well so we got a little bit more motion in there i knew something looked kind of strange all right let's do it and take a look all right much better now we're getting a little bit of lag right now that's because we have uh some some stuff going on uh with the most like ooh, most likely with um all the letters that we have in the lighting because i'm on rendered viewport shading still so uh, if you want you don't have to be on there you can see it's much smoother much faster when you're not on rendered or uh, viewport shading so we'll go ahead and turn that off for the time being uh, much smoother all right so now we have the letters they look good they're moving around which looks super good um, but we can do a lot more things to this but I think the only thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna animate these letters a little bit more so we're gonna uh, put this audio back on and this is the super fun but difficult part so I'm gonna close this down we'll just uh, pull that away this is the super fun but difficult part. Um, it takes a lot of creativity and kind of just playing it over and over again until you get what you want. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go through and listen to this music and see what I can make the text do to um, make it look like it's doing something good. But before we do the text, I kind of want to do something with the camera. So we'll zoom the camera in and out depending on what the music is doing. So let's go ahead and take a, take a listen and see what we can do to the camera. When it when the when when I, I made this little filter right here, and it kind of it kind of fades out and then comes back. I kind of want to zoom the camera out when I do that. So let's go ahead and, and right about here. So three six two for me. Of course, it's not going to be the same keyframes for you, obviously. But uh, we'll open this up a little bit, and we'll hover our cursor over top of the focal length in our camera tab here, and hit I, and then we'll go uh, we'll play a little bit. So about right here on 383, three, we'll, we'll zoom this out by a lot. And then uh, since we have automatic keyframing on, it'll, it'll insert another keyframe for us. Now when we play this, now these keyframes are off, so I'm going to pull this one, hit G to move it out like that. And I kind of want this to go with the snare instead of the actual kind of thing. So we will kind of just move those keyframes like that. And then for when when the camera comes back in, I will kind of zoom it slow now, slower a little bit, I guess. So right here on 390, I'm gonna uh, zoom it out just a little bit more, so it has a bit of motion. So six millimeters instead of seven. So we have this now. And then right here on this kick, when it comes back in, I'm gonna put it back to its initial uh, value, which is this keyframe right here. So I hit Shift D, duplicate that, and move it on over here. Now when we play this, which looks super good. So. Um, now what I'm gonna do is for that for this little zoom out here I kind of wanted to rotate a little bit while it's doing that so what we'll do is uh, on this keyframe right here we'll hit I rotation and then for this guy we will rotate it a lot like that um, right I think I want to go the other way we'll go the other way like that and then 
we will kind of follow that through a little bit with the rotation. So R, Y to rotate. Just give it a little bit more rotation so it's not sitting still. And then for this, we will go back to the initial rotation by grabbing this one, hitting Shift D, duplicate, and then putting it right there. All right, looks good. And I kind of want it to jiggle a little bit because the rotation uh, shouldn't just stop dead. So we're going to duplicate this keyframe one more time, hit Shift D, move it about right there. And then we're going to go somewhere about right here in the middle and then rotate it this way to kind of give the illusion of the of physics because it was this way. Now it goes like that and kind of comes backwards. Now I'm going to also do it again. We'll grab this one, Shift D, put it way out there, and then we'll, we'll key, create a keyframe right here and rotate it a little bit that way so it, it kind of tapers off with the rotation. So now we have this. Now something looks kind of strange right here, so we'll go ahead and play it and fix it. It's this keyframe right here. Um, so we'll kind of rotate that a little bit and fix it. Nope, rotate a little bit and fix it. I think this one is too much as well, so we'll rotate that one. I think that might be good. Yeah, that's good. All right, so I kind of want to have it zoom in a little bit more than it's supposed to and then come back out right here. So on the focal length, we'll hit I right there. And then on this keyframe, when it comes in, we will have it zoom in more than it's supposed to. So we'll be on like 44 millimeters. And now it looks like this, which looks much better. And I might just even want to do that again. So on this frame right here, we will hit I and then we'll go to that 32 millimeter that we just created before and zoom it out a little bit. So it kind of goes in and out, uh, fading it out a little bit. Now that's too much. So instead of 28, we'll do 30. We'll just do two keyframes, two, two millimeters. And right here on this cord, I want to snap it in. So I don't like the way it's going slow like this. So we'll go ahead and, and just move. Where's that keyframe at? Right here. So I'll go ahead and move this keyframe right uh, here. And then I want to snap. So on the frame right before that, when it, when it pops back in, I want to change it to 30 to make it stay the same. And then it pops in right there. So um, we have this now. Um, so now it kind of zooms in a little bit when it hits that chord, which is nice. But do I want to? I want to move that up to the snare right here instead. So we'll grab those two, hit G to move them up, and then when that snare hits, I want to pop it in. So now we have something like this. But I want to zoom in some more, more than 32. So we'll go ahead and zoom it into 40. And this frame right here is still making it zoom in, and I don't want that. I want it to go on the kick. So right here on the kick, I want this to zoom back in the way it's supposed to be. And then right, 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 like I said, we'll put that back on frame 30 on 32 millimeters. And in the frame before that, we will change that to 40 so that it stays where it is. So now we have this. So now it kind of zooms in on the snare and then pops back on the kick, which is nice. I kind of want to do something for this little hi-hat right here, this little ride symbol a little bit. Um, but I'm not sure what to do. So instead of, hmm, see, you don't want to overdo it because then it'll just becomes kind of nauseous, um, especially with camera motions or anything like that. But it, nauseous, not in a way where you're actually going to get dizzy, but it just becomes overbearing and silly and too much if you do too much with it. So I'm going to try, I'm going to refrain from doing something to that, but we'll, we'll find some more places where we can do stuff like that. Um, I kind of want to flip the camera upside down right here. So what we'll do is right here on this um, this frame right here, we will go ahead and go to the frame before it, hit I, rotation on the camera, and then go to the next frame, which is the frame I, I want it to happen on, and then we'll go RX 180 to flip it upside down. And then uh, automatic keyframing is on, so it'll just work right. So now we have uh, it flipping upside down like this. And I just want to make sure those letters are in, this, in roughly the same place. So that when you're looking at styling, it kind of just looks like it flips upside down and doesn't actually move. So we're going to move the camera down right here as well. Now, uh, there's some kind of location frame that's messing up our location over here. So we're going to undo that frame and put a location frame right here on the frame before it. So it doesn't move until the next frame. So location on that one. Then we'll move this one up and then location. And we need to find an another place to flip this back upside down quickly enough because you can't read what it says like that.